All right, going to do a little audio commentary thing here. Uh, on my latest dogfight. This is my standard dogfighting logout. Actually, I'm probably going to switch back to burst cannons right now. I've got it on standard cannons. But uh, ion missiles... Yeah, I'm skeptical about this group. They don't they don't look too good, especially those two Nazi looking dudes right in front of me. Um Yeah, one of those guys actually, I think that Welt guy actually ends up leaving. Which is fine because his audio bugged out a whole bunch anyways. This new guy joins up, so I'd say hi. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'll skip ahead a little bit here. On approach, gas giant Yavin. So I immediately come in and push all power to engines, and it turns out they spawn right on top of us. So. Do a little boost, try to get around him, put some shots on him. Come around, still trying to get used to the controls, so a little jumpy there. Look at that, put a lot of shots into his shields. Out turning him because I've got my. There we go, take, a, take down his shields, hit haul a few times. And just in this amount of time, he's repaired, and his shields are regenerated, and now it's probably back to 100%. That's the advantage that Rebels have. But his Lion missiles sort of take him out. Sort of locks up their controls. Meanwhile, I'm getting beat up. So I bug out of there. I feel like that's probably one of the more important things is... Uh, you know, not sticking around a dogfight by Soul Drift turn. Line up a shot. Still just hitting shields, so it's not doing anything to them, but there we go. Other guy stole a kill, and then I get killed. So yeah, the big thing is not to, you know, it, oh, he used rockets on me, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the big thing is to just keep moving, keep, you know, if someone's on your six, even if you're about to get a kill. Bug out. Forget about that kill. Keep yourself alive. You can always come back and get that kill later. But uh, if you die, the other team gets a point. It's first to 30 wins here. Freeze him up with the ion torpedo. But he gets his controls back really quickly. So tough to get through the shields and the hull on these things. There we go. This is a big thing. A lot of rebel ships will just stop right in front of you. They'll pull up, you'll see this guy, I think, does it pretty soon. Again. A different guy. He just takes that. This guy, see how he just stops? What they're trying to get you to do is run into the back of them. So with their shields, it's not going to hurt them, but it'll destroy the TIE fighter. See, so if this were the other way around, if, if I was in an X-Wing and it was a TIE fighter I was shooting at, he would have been dead already. Because uh, they're just so much thicker. So many shots I have to put in them. There we go, fire countermeasures, get rid of that missile. You all boost and spin just to get that guy that was on my tail in front of me. And then Grey Bear takes him out. Grey Bear really had a great match here. Timer's not ready on that repair device. These little floating discs there. Uh, Auto repair things that sort of pop up every once in a while in a match. There we go. 
And you'll see there's a little timer. See, it just popped up green. That means it's ready to be picked up. But I decided to go for the kill instead. And I think in turn get myself killed here. Oh, no, I hit the repair. Got boosted away. Throwing laser power back into the engines. Into the boost. Let's see if I can lock him up with that. Now he, uh, he's countermeasures. I got someone on my six. It does a good job of telling you when there is someone behind you, which is pretty cool. Anytime they tell you to shake that tail or whatever, or your own character yells out taking damage, that means that there's someone behind you. Yes, that rocket guy again got me. Gray bear kicking ass. Let's see, he's in an interceptor. He's doing pretty good job in that interceptor. I went with the TIE fighter in this. I've been playing around with it lately because TIE fighters can carry these ion missiles, which interceptors can't. And for TIE fighters, their hulls are a lot thicker, like twice the uh, uh, hull rating of a uh, TIE interceptor. And it's like interceptor goes a little faster, a little more maneuverable, but doesn't have the hull that the TIE fighter does. And on top of it, if you if you use the burst cannon on the TIE Interceptor, it only has a 600 meter range. Whereas with the standards or with the TIE burst cannon, uh, you can go a thousand meters. Good shooting, that guy's repairing. See those sparks means he's repairing. So many shots. Just his shields just soak it up. Yeah, I feel like I need to adjust my sensitivity back. They released a patch lately that uh, supposedly fixed a lot of the dead zone issues that a lot of people were having with their controllers. So maybe I can turn my sensitivity back down a little. Got him. That one actually just rammed him, just face tanked him. Grab that. Try to get them to chase me, some of my other guys can swoop in and get the kills real quick and then turn around and come back. That's that's one of the big things, just hit and run tactics with the uh, Imperial side just because you don't have, you have the speed but you can't tank as much as the uh, Republic ship so you know, kind of hit and then get out and while they're focusing on you, you're dodging and while your teammates are kind of trying to get in behind them there, I just pushed everything. Two lasers. You can watch my little laser, you know, charge level in the middle there. And you can see when I double tap the convert button to put it into. See, it's constantly draining, but I just popped it to put the power into the lasers. Someone else's mic that's in the game. Countermeasures fired. Getting hit, so I boost out. I try to spin around, but I go into the cloud. And then by the time I pull out, the cloud has damaged me enough that I explode, which was pretty stupid. Gray Bear, 11 kills. I'm at 7. Yeah, I just need one more kill. Oh, this is where it gets crazy. One more kill to win the game. 
and how most of our team is now all of our team is respawning and we all respawn at different times so all five of the Republic fighters basically jump on us one by one as we respawn here here I, I should have gotten him I don't know how I don't get him here he's hot that's away I'm trying to dodge but can't do it you know, watch the replay here. They've got this three guys, four guys shooting at me. Oh, and we lost. That didn't help either. We lost one of our players. We're down to four players. But we get that last kill and win. And uh, there it is. Gray Bear led the day. There's my awesome victory pose. Yeah, so good stuff. Hope this kind of helps show off kind of what dogfighting's all about and some semi-advanced tactics. I don't know. I wanted to see what my score ended up being on the scoreboards, but for some reason it kind of bugged out. Seven kills, four deaths, six assists. Got some challenge things. But then it, I kept trying to toggle the scoreboard, but it wouldn't, wouldn't switch to the scoreboard, so I couldn't see how we did in relation to the other team. But anyways, uh, all in all, fun times. Good match.